Here's a video looking at an FBM Apache body that has a lightning laser engraving on it. And this came in a lot with two rippers that Paul bought. And the rippers were trade. I imagine that this body was actually purchased from FBM. And we can see that here we have a feed neck, FBM spanky TNC style feed neck. This is a little different, so I would say this is most likely an FBM post Chris O'Gaz style feed neck. We have an FBM bolt, which has the box here as the mercury bolt. Then we have an FBM one of five lightning bodies. So let's look first at the lightning body, get a good look at it because it's pretty cool. And the Apache bodies are cool and seeing one with the lightning engraving on it is extra cool. So here we go, here's an FBM Apache lightning body and the logo for FBM and the lightning and the numbering on the bottom were likely all done by FBM. We can see the cuts in the body. There's a few that are not totally clear in this gloss unless you're actually looking in the right light, which we are right now. So we can see this kind of step on the top. We can see this angular cut on the back, the teardrops all along the side and the angling on the top, which is super cool, especially in this light. Feed neck is likely angel thread. We have a front block screw, banjo screw, which I'm not sure who machined this. I don't recognize it as an FBM part. It might be a cap style front block screw, but that I'm really unsure of. But on the bottom, we can see that it says one of five lightning Apache bodies. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if FBM had a stock back block and front block for this specifically, but I imagine Chris O'Gaz style front and back blocks would be perfect for this. Let's get an extra zoom in on the lightning laser engraving right here. Let's see how close I can get. So there is our lightning laser engraving right there. It's pretty rad. So the lightning laser engraving on the Apache body is similar to the Thunderstruck anodizing pattern that was done by peers at PK Selective in the late 90s, early 2000s. Pretty good. So here is the FBM Mercury bolt. And I haven't seen many examples of this bolt, but I know that it's called the Mercury bolt because Paul actually had the packaging for it right here, which it came with. So that's super cool to see. Reading the instructions on back or the advertisement on back essentially it says weighing in at a mere 1.6 ounces the all delrin fbm mercury autococker bolt is lighter than the competition a lighter bolt equals higher rates of fire feel the difference of fbm customize your game and they put an extra space in there to emphasize how it would be your game designed and manufactured by fbm factory so that is some proof that this was a later bolt done when FBM was doing their own machining and not something that Chris O'Gaz did. We can see the logos are probably laser engraved and then had ink or something rubbed in. Here's the open face, the detent notch, the inlet, no angle to it, the ribbing on the center, three ribs, the pull pin, a retaining screw. Thank you. 